Listen. To live amongst these creatures is part of the fabric of why we live in Colorado. It's a life of adventure, fulfilled by the opportunity to share just a moment with the wild creatures that call this landscape home. Colorado's wildlife is abundant and an irrefutable success story rooted in science. We are the Coloradans for responsible wildlife management, and we're committed to defending the North American model. The key to wildlife management is balance. If we didn't manage wildlife, our populations would see instability. It's our responsibility to help manage our wildlife populations, whose habitat we live, work, and recreate in, in order to ensure a balanced and sustained future. The North American model of wildlife conservation utilizes hunting, fishing, and trapping as both a funding mechanism and a tool for managing sustainable populations. Colorado's regulated harvest of 78 game species allows for the management of all 961 species on the landscape. Without hunting, there is no funding mechanism, no balance, no science. But this model that has worked for over a century is under attack. Extreme animal welfare activist groups are working to circumvent the authorities of Colorado's General Assembly and distinguished biologists. Their goal is to end hunting across the country, and Colorado is in the crosshairs. The assault on the North American model starts by removing the regulated harvest of mountain lions and bobcats in Colorado, contradicting the scientific findings of two long-term research projects by Colorado parks and wildlife biologists. This regulated harvest creates sustainable populations of Colorado's big cats, balanced with healthy populations of deer, and reduces conflict with humans. Management is absolutely necessary, proven in CPW's own findings that there are no real-world examples of success with just letting lions exist with humans without thoughtful management. This attempt at ballot box biology would also use a non-existent lynx harvest as a red herring, a species protected at state and federal levels that was reintroduced and now recovering thanks to the success of the North American model. Make no mistake, this is the foundation of a larger goal with national implications. Though this attempt targets the harvest of big cats, it specifically prohibits trophy hunting. It's a thinly veiled attempt to codify something that can be used to end hunting altogether. Understand what they mean by trophy hunting. Intentionally killing, wounding, trapping, stalking, or pursuing a mountain lion, bobcat, or lynx. Intentionally pursuing and killing. Isn't that hunting? This sets a precedent to substitute any species they want. This ban is being pushed by those who refuse to acknowledge the benefits of hunting simply because they don't like it. This fight can be won, but we need your help. If you truly care about sustainable wildlife populations, listen to the science. Listen to what's happening on the landscape. Listen to the facts. The Coloradans for Responsible Wildlife Management is proudly partnering with conservation organizations across the country. We're united in this cause and welcome any and all in defense of science-based wildlife management. <laughs>